Welcome back to Road to 100, the series where I clean bulk back up to 100 kilos. So it's breakfast time, I'm not fasting. I've got a steak, I've got some broccoli and onions which I sauteed together with coconut oil, then I topped with olive oil, and then I've got for dessert some macadamias and some 100% dark chocolate buttons. I wouldn't advise these to be honest, they're a bit better, but I usually stick with the 90% lint, that's enough, but I don't know, I got these and I was like, might as well finish them. But yeah, they're a bit, I mean, they're okay when you eat them for a long time, but I'll stick to 90%. So I'll put the full macros on screen for this. Today's gonna be obviously a full day of eating like usual, got some work to do, and also gonna be hitting legs. I was gonna give you a really heavy session, but my legs feel a bit, I'd say my back tweaked a bit when I was doing, um, what was I doing? When I was doing the sumo squats the other week. So I'm gonna taper it back a bit because last week, this time, no, last week Wednesday, my first leg session of the week, I'd done, well, I squatted one, 180 for four sets, two reps each set. So I think that was pushing it. And I had done heavy two weeks in a row before that. So about four weeks, no, actually no, three weeks in a row before that. So four weeks of heavy legs. So I'm gonna taper it back now. I'm gonna do a lighter session. It's not gonna be super light, but it's gonna be light, probably between 10 and 12 reps and less rest as well. But I'll take you through that later on. In the meantime, it's steak time. I've got my green tea as well. I haven't had caffeine for a few days because obviously today is the day after Boxing Day and over Christmas and etc. I didn't have any caffeine because I just wasn't working. I was just with family and friends. And yesterday was a total chill day. Didn't do much at all. Just had one client in the morning and then the rest was like paperwork, like admin work. And then I watched a film in the evening. Nice to relax, nice to get more hours in for sleep and just to chill and to regenerate. Ready for the new year, the new year rush. Obviously, co-owning a gym means that the new year is gonna be some mad rush. We've already got a lot of new clients lined up for the new years as well. A lot of new members as well. So we will, yeah, we will be very, very busy and it's good to, time now to just regenerate and prepare for that and also get ready to deliver you know people the best possible results the best possible customer experience and that means an energized adam and an energized jess so yeah that's what it's about that's what a season's about just chilling out but new year's is approaching and that's gonna be a pretty pretty big one so i'm attending a party where superstars is the theme the dress up theme so i'm not sure who to go as i was gonna go as john travolta Either way, it means shaving the beard or Freddie Mercury. People say I look like both of them. So comment below if you agree. Thumbs up for me coming out with a Freddie Mercury. That's not easy to admit. I'm gonna eat this up and then I'm gonna go, I have a few errands to run and I'm gonna go do some work and I'll check in with you probably around that time and probably train legs later this evening at some point as my gym is back to normal hours of operation and I'll make sure this session's not cut short and go at a decent time. I'll check in with you shortly, but massive thumbs up for the steak for breakfast. Not traditional English breakfast, have no fear, but just a, a traditional carb backloading breakfast. If you haven't seen what carb backloading is, check my video above, and I'll see you shortly. It's smoothie time. So there we have it, a quick smoothie, very easy to make. I'll put the full Recipe in the description, the full macro is on the screen now. Mm. Tastes good. And it didn't overflow like last time, I didn't go OTT on the ingredients. Just a quick, quick smoothie. I'll drink this and I'll probably go to the gym in around two hours. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be able to do because I kind of sneezed and felt my back a bit go a bit weird. Yes, I'm getting old, injuring my back while I'm sneezing, but sneezing? I'm gonna finish this up, grab a caffeine free pre workout and then head to the gym. I might see you before that at some point in one clip, but if not, happy leg day to me. And also Mog keeps me out, he's very hungry, so see you shortly. Mog, do you want chicken? Chicken Mog? Chicken? So my initial plan for this workout was to go really heavy and show y'all what I'm made of, to show you my new strength gains on the squat and to show you that I surpassed that 170 sticking point. I haven't 
gone past this year so far. I actually got to 180 last Wednesday. I wanted to show you it on camera so everyone believe me. I'm sure everyone believes me anyway, but you know. But then I, yeah, I had a bit of an injury as I discussed earlier and also I just wanted to then change the workout around. I could have not went to the gym because that's how I was feeling. I was feeling that stiff, but then I decided, you know what, sometimes it's just better to go and do what you can do at that moment of time. You'll still get results out of doing what you can at that moment of time as long as you're not putting yourself at further jeopardy of being hurt even more which i didn't feel like i was at any point in this routine very very simple routine so the back squats i did three warm-up sets just because i was extremely stiff now i attempted this 100 kilos this puts into perspective look how stiff couldn't even go down couldn't even go down then i attempted a few one last time i actually got down but it wasn't worth the, the discomfort I was feeling. So I thought, you know what, I'll strip it, lose the ego and just go nice and light and just get the reps out. Like I said at the start, I was gonna go light and go for lots of reps. I was gonna go for between 10 and 15 initially. Then I decided probably not gonna get 15. So I'm between 10 and 12 and done four sets of these back squats. And like I said, it's just better to go to the gym sometimes, get that workout out and just feel good about it and also just do what you can in that moment of time you know it's sometimes not as smooth of a road as people make it out to be some people say oh yeah you know results week after week after week i even say that sometimes but it's not necessarily about that it's more about getting to the gym being consistent working out working out to the maximum you can at that day at that period of time and coming back and trying to beat it every time yes trying to beat it if you can't you can't with these leg extensions i took a tip out of scooby's book does anyone remember scooby if not i'm gonna link his video above anyway and he was an engineer of some sort and he was just talking about the mechanics of the leg in the video like i said you can watch the video in further detail and he said with the leg extension not to go fully up to go around 50 to 60 percent is which what i did here and i decided with leg extensions and leg curls from now on I'm gonna go high reps between 15 and 20 more on the 18 to 20 mark i might even go 18 to 25 oh no 20 to 25 even in the future but this felt good it gave a sick pump and generally felt like a good addition to the fact that i couldn't really do squats that well then with the leg curls same thing i don't see the benefit unless someone can correct me of going all the way down just if going to 90 degrees feels like enough and going further feels like it tweaks my ligaments a bit i could be wrong just feels a bit weird in the old knee area but that's pretty much it after this i've done some calf raises then i did some abs as i always do like i said still need to get that ab video out i will get all my ab exercises in one video and do a full day eating but hope you enjoyed this i know i didn't hit that max squat but i will in the future don't worry like i said change up the routine so hope you enjoyed this So that's my leg workout done and it wasn't the best leg workout in the world it wasn't my best for months but that's because i told you i slightly twinged my lower back it was a bit more than i expected so i only managed to go up to 80 i tried 100 kilos as you saw it wasn't happening i wanted to do like 100 kilos so like 10 to 15 but that was not happening today but that's okay last wednesday so just over a week ago I, I went really heavy but like i said for the last four weeks i've been going really heavy doing like low reps and I'm going to start changing that up. So now I'm going to do one week, well, probably two weeks, like high reps, high-ish reps, maybe do like 10 to 15 in one week, then do like eight the next week, and then do like three to five. Never go below three. That's going to be my new strategy. I've done two reps last week, which is a bit weird. It's almost a month, one rep max, but learn my lesson. And I think that I rushed it a bit on Saturday as well. That's when I actually tweaked my back, not doing the heavy squats. Saturday, I rushed my workout, the workout you can see in the last row to 100. I'll put that above. I've got my collagen shake. I've got just, just the pure collagen on its own, unflavored. The Great Lakes one with creatine. The proof is not completely nasty. Doesn't really taste of anything. Just tastes like, uh, I can't explain what it tastes like. A slightly milky taste even though it's got no obviously dairy or anything but it tastes okay 
it does taste okay. And I know some people were saying that you can obviously take, we'll drink bone broth instead of having collagen. Yes, you can. It's just quite a lot more expensive. So that's why I opt for collagen. And while collagen is a lot more expensive than whey and vegan protein shakes as well, it is the better option. And I'm giving it a shot just because it's that little bit better. And yeah, that's my reasoning behind it. Uh, like, uh, like I said, if you're going to go for whey, go for whey isolate. If you're going to go for a vegan one, choose one with digestive enzymes in. I always recommend Vivo Life. It's got a lot of antioxidants in and also it's got a good amount of digestive enzymes in. So help you break those down. Otherwise, you can find yourself quite bloated and you want none of that. I didn't seem to find myself bloated from the, the vegan proteins, probably because I use those type of ones. But I've heard a lot of people say that they get bloated from it. So I don't know. I know I'm not vegan and you might not be vegan as well, but sometimes people like to mix it up between vegan and whey shakes and some people just can't take whey so they have vegan. And no. Well, I'm going to drink this up, make my way home and just remember, like I said, the workout wasn't great. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. I was almost not going to go to the gym and almost not going to do this vlog and just say, you know, that I couldn't finish it because I couldn't work out. But that would be silly. There's always something you can do in the gym. You can work around with the weights and stuff. You don't have to necessarily stick to the plan 100% every time if you can't. If you can, I suggest you do just so you see those, those results. But if you can't, there's always ways to deviate. There's always ways to mix it up, change up the weight, change up the rep range and so forth. So it's post. Workout meal time, not much of a workout like I said, but still got to eat, got to feel those muscles. But what I've got here is something very unique. I battered the chicken in almond and eggs. I'll put that in the description below, but it's pretty simple. So it's just an almond, well, ground almonds, almond flour, however you want to look at it, mixed with eggs. And then you fry those, you put it to the side. I'll put the full recipe below, like I said. And then what I did is put some strawberry conserve preserve or conserve, however you want to call it. Basically, strawberry jam is about 55% strawberry, so, so it didn't hold me to that. And I mixed it with some balsamic vinegar and some other herbs and stuff, and I made a sauce for this chicken. And also I got some rice, in this case, basmati rice, and I also cooked kale with some mustard seed powder. So I'm gonna give this a try, just so you know it's not completely disgusting. If you think it sounds nasty, then Argue the internet. I found it on the internet. <laughs> I just had an idea of using strawberry jam with whoops, strawberry jam with um, chicken. Ah, mmm, that tastes unbelievable. Well, I've got a new thing right here. I've tried that marmalade with chicken before, but this strawberry jam chicken's on point. It's really, really good. I put a full recipe below so you can give it a try yourself. Give me a massive thumbs up if you've come this far. Massive thumbs up for sticking with that workout and sticking with the video. And if this is your first time on this channel, subscribe. I do apologize for not making the video on Thursday of last week. I got a bit busy admin wise around Christmas time with the gym and also a product I've launched. I'll go into a bit more detail another video some of you may know but i recently launched a product it was on my instagram and i will go into much more detail in another video but until then keep pushing those limits